Stickers! Hello, interwebs, and welcome back to Let's Play Ace Attorney Investigations 2. My name's Skinny Mini. And I'm Pharaoh. Last episode, we um, went up to the Grand Tower to find out we, uh, to find out if Kay could remember anything. She remembered a person in a red coat coming up to her. And we saw that in the cutscene uh, before she fell. So now we found out that there's a body that has been murdered, I guess, and the person's name who died is Kay. So we're like, oh, that's confusing. So now we are trying to figure that out. <sighs> Oh, yay. All right. Yay. So much yay. yay. So much yay. Uh, where do we go now? Should we examine this podium in the front? Examine. Uh, hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna stand there like I'm actually giving a speech. If things had gone as planned, I would have been standing here right about now. Yeah, sir. I'm glad the PIC meeting was delayed, but the cause of the delay was due to a murder. It's troubling to think that the PIC meeting could condemn my career as a prosecutor. In any case, my top priority right now is to find the truth behind this case. Dig -a -dig -a -dig -a -dig -a -dig. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else that stands out besides, you know, the blood. <laughs> <laughs> what? But it's like ignoring that blood stain. What else stands out in this room? <laughs> uh, can I talk to them? I'm gonna talk to them. Talk. Uh, Granny and uh, Karen. I'm sorry, right now Granny is in the middle of an autopsy, so... Are you sonny's trying to get in the way of my autopsy? Is what she says. Uh, could you please wait just a little bit longer? <laughs> Thanks. Yes, I suppose we have no choice. We'll come back to investigate the body later. So, she's in the middle of cutting up that body as we speak. As we speak. <laughs> it's um, like, oh, what do you do right here? Oh, 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 oh my god. <laughs> What's wrong, sir? Oh! <laughs> That's honestly probably what would happen. Uh, uh, okay. Um, um, let's go to the back again and look at... Just look over at the bench, over the benches or the mini fence or whatever. Okay. These bookshelves are very well organized. Looking at them feels good. Does it makes you feel good, Edgeworth? Is uh, yeah, it gets, never mind. Well, that's true. That, <laughs> there's not even a speck of dust on them. But I'm also extremely dedicated to cleaning your office, sir. First I sweep, then I vacuum. Next I wipe everything clean twice, and then I wax the. It'd be nice if you were this dedicated to your real job. Oh, he just loves you so much. Well, he's, yeah, he's he. Your... He's your what? He's your best friend. Do best friends really do that to each other? It's like, here, clean my office. Well, I think Gumshoe does it because he wants to rather than just telling him to do it. Yeah, I, I, can, I guess I can see that. Like, maybe, like, I can assume that maybe Edgeworth maybe asked him to do it, like, once. Like, once, yeah. And Gumshoe's like, hey, it's not so bad. And <laughs> here we are. Oh, my God. Okay, let's talk to the officer. Maybe that's the reason why he's there. He's you like, there. um, hello? Hello, <laughs> I'm standing right here. I know, he's like, hmm, 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 hmm. You there, tell me the situation about the security of this room. Oh, yes, sir. To enter this room, a special key card is required. I see. In other words, not just anyone can enter this room. Okay, sweet. Logic! So, the person who found the body was also... Yes! It was part of the PIC. He was a member of the PIC, who had come here for today's hearing. A member of the PIC? If not for this case, right now I would be... Oh. Esca is this Courtney? Excuse I'm me. I'm assuming we have a gavel. <gasps> oh! <gasps> Wait, did we see her? Did we not see her in this game yet? No! Oops. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. my friend! Oh, my God! Uh, you are... Oh, yes. Oh, what is it? That voice? It's Von Karma, right? Um, do you know her, Granny? Ah, good to see you again, Doctor. And you as well, Miles Edward. What? What is she doing here? Francisco Von Karma. 
She's a prosecutor working with Interpol and the daughter of Manfred von Karma. She would be jetting. She should be jetting around the world right now. Wherever there is a case, I will follow. National borders mean nothing to me. Your presence here must mean that this case has international significance. You know well enough that I am chasing a smuggling ring. I shall recover all the stolen goods and crush that organization. Then, does that mean that the smuggling ring is also involved in this particular case? Any further information is confidential. I am not obligated to speak of speak of it with you. But so it won't be that easy. Oh, uh, Miss Francisca, uh, von Kroma, uh, Granny says the autopsy is complete. You're free to do what you want. In that case, we would like to investigate as well. I've heard rumors about you. No way am I letting you near that body. You're that prosecutor who's always ab about to get the book, the boot. You're best run home now, Sonny. Uh, um, just so you know, I was the one who said that, okay? P please, Granny. We need to investigate, no matter what. Why should you in the Wakanda pose? I, I was just thinking that. Oh my god! I knew, oh, I knew Kate was a G, man. <laughs> Uh. Hey, Lassie! Who you calling Granny? Yeah, <laughs> I I'm sorry. <laughs> We're not getting anywhere. I guess I have no other choice. Francisca, please allow us to aid you in your investigation. We must examine that body in order to find out what happened to Kay. To Kay Faraday? I'm asking you too, sir. Kay's in really bad shape. I don't know what's going on, but fine, I'll grant you permission. Oh, you have my thanks. Of course, I didn't say it would come without a price. You will explain everything to me later. We really owe you one, sir. I wasn't talking to you, Scruffy. Ouch! Ah, oh, good times. So that's how it is. If you would be so kind as to authorize them too, Doctor. I suppose it's fine if he's a prosecutor from Interpol. Is what she says, and I fully agree with Granny. By the Von Karma name, the entire world will be judged. That's just common knowledge. That's rather conceited for common knowledge. Well, it's none of my beeswax anymore. Is what she says. Um, I hope you don't get in trouble for this. You needn't worry. My reputation will not be shaken by something so petty. Unlike me, who is on the verge of losing his badge. <laughs> Golly. Forgive me about my, um, supposed accent with Francisca. I'm not good at accents, so I'm, like, just in and out with it, I guess, so I apologize if it's terrible. Oh, I'm sure people are not going to complain. If anybody's complaining, it's going to be about my accents, because I can't do them justice <laughs> at all. <laughs> so, I mean, but we have fun. I mean, yeah, we, we try putting our voice acting skills into work here, but, you know, in the end, we're just having fun. So. Yeah. All right, so let's examine the body. The Exam body. Examine the body. The body. <laughs> my dad just dropped off some mail in my room. I'm like, oh, alright, thanks, Dad. So what the hell is this girl doing? <laughs> talking to herself as usual. <laughs> Not that I do I mean, I do talk to myself, I'm not gonna lie, but. Anyway, let's examine the body, shall we examine? Oh, yeah, that's not crazy at all. What? Alright. Oh, what the oh. heck? <laughs> <laughs> I do the same thing, it's fine. Th this body! Is on fire. This body's on fire. Show some damn respect. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. Jeez, God. All right, damn. Crazy. I would. Sorry. I, I would. <laughs> would it be a little like morbid if this body was actually burned and you said oh, that? Well, I yeah, I still probably would have said it. Yeah. 
Sorry. Just... Was on fire. <laughs> okay. It's not case, sir. It doesn't look like her at all. Yeah. Of course it isn't. Kay is alive, after all. Her age is, uh, I guess, around 30, and she's wearing a pantsuit. She's rocking it, from what I can tell. And maybe, <laughs> maybe she worked in one of the offices in the building. So her identity is still unknown. The question now becomes, why did the police believe her name was Kay? I won't rest until I've inspected every nook, suspicious nook and cranny. Huh? What'd you say? <laughs> cranny. Did he say cranny? Cranny, not granny. Damn. What <laughs> a hearing aid. All right. Uh, there's so much, so I see a lot, so I'm gonna look at this candelabra over here on the right. Bottom right. It's, uh... Oh it's God, not it's Lumiere, a... don't you say it. Damn, that's... I was trying to remember his name, I couldn't remember. Lumiere. Uh, could this be the murder weapon, sir? A three-pronged candelabra. It's consistent with the number of stab wounds. She was probably stabbed by the prongs of the candelabra. <laughs> A candy zebra? I'm afraid it's not quite what you're imagining, Detective. A candelabra is a candlestick holder with multiple arms. Oh, so it's a candle holder. You know, one time I forgot to pay my electric bill, and I had to get I had to get by only with candles. What, what time period are you from? Well, maybe if you stop freaking... Uh, decreasing his salary, he wouldn't have to. Sorry, let me stop. Just... No, it, it, he's, it deserves that talking to. I mean, what the hell? And actually, speaking of Disney, did you see the Dumbo trailer that came out today? No, I haven't. I need to watch it. I think I think you'll like it. Maybe. Okay. All right. Um, I see this piece of paper. This is K. I'm gonna look at that. You can actually read that. Damn, my eyes are bad. Oh. Oh, I see a giant K on the front, like the letter K. Oh, I see that. Okay. Uh, this notebook. Huh? Isn't that K's promise notebook? <gasps> Who the? <laughs> f uh. This is a notebook she wrote all her promises to her father in. It really takes me back, sir. Oh. Uh, yes. Oh, here comes the Final Fantasy music. Um. When Kay was young, she and her father wrote the promises they made in this notebook. Aww. However, why is it in a place like this? We must find the four crystals of light. Ah! Uh. Ah, uh. oh, now now that you mention it, I once heard something from De Detective Bad a long time ago. It seems that before anyone had noticed, Kay's memento had gone missing. Uh-oh. Oh wait, what? It, maybe that's what that uh, the note was. The this, the letter, oh. where it says, oh. "I promise that I'll get it back for you, your most precious memory, Jill." So do you think this is Jill? Possibly. Hmm. What? So a piece of evidence that was in the in pop. That cut off. Did you see it was like P O L? Yeah. No. I I'm, I was like, did my game freeze? No. It's uh. Pole. It literally stopped that pole. Translations. Detective Bad frantically searched all over for it, but it seems he never found it. What could this mean? Why was the missing notebook found here? You there, do you happen to know anything about this notebook? Oh, the victim was carrying his notebook when we found her. That was the only evidence we had to identify the body. So that's why you called her Kay. What a misleading victim, huh? Why did she have Kay's notebook? I sure would like to have some information on the victim's identity, though. Now, see, I'm confused here. It's like, they say she was a member of the PIC, right? Right. Are they telling me they don't know who this lady is yet? Unless some, I mean, maybe they're all not on the board. They know probably know names, but they probably don't know who, like, what she looks like. I guess. I all mean, because right. nobody on the board is actually there. True. Okay. So, um... Okay, uh, I guess the three stab wounds in her chest. Ugh. Ouchies. There doesn't seem to be anything... anything in this pocket. This pocket has holes in it, sir! Judging by how the cloth was pierced, she must have been stabbed by some sharp object. 
All your coins will fall out of those holes, sir. Uh, Detective, haven't you ever heard of a wallet? Of course I have, sir. I always use my pockets, though. Most people do, right? Never mind. I mean, hey. I, I agree with Gumshoe here. Who the hell puts coins in the wallet? I know, because it bulks it. So it's easy to just put the coins in your in your pocket. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay, I see the purple cloth corsage thingy. Okay. Down to the... Uh, come on. There we go. Oh, something seems to be pinned to her jacket. Hmm, it's made out of purple cloth. It looks like it's, uh, it's been forcibly torn off, doesn't it? Oh, deduce! Deduce! <laughs> is this spot how- yes. Yes, it is. That's why I pressed deduce. Purple flower! Corsage! <laughs> that purple flower Kay had with her. I wonder if that originally belonged to the victim. <gasps> oh, are they gonna say Kay did it? Oh, I think it's kind of leading down that road, don't you think? Dang it. <laughs> well! Well, <laughs> uh, now that you mention it, the cloth does look the same as the one on the pin. Yes. Uh, let's compare them without delay. Harry, let's incriminate her even further. <laughs> it's a perfect match, sir. Way to go, Mr. Edgeworth. It's torn off the victim's clothes. No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I need to find that video. I think I watched uh, it recently, and I was like, oh, God, this is gold. I need to find it. Uh, the fact that this flower belongs to the victim means... That can only mean that Kay Faraday came in contact with the victim. And about that corsage, it looks like it was forcibly ripped off. There is a possibility that Kay Faraday is connected to this case. And depending on the situation, we may have to consider her as a suspect. What did you say? There's no way she did it! Kame! Kame! Ha ha! Oh, hush. I forgot the rest! <laughs> <laughs> if Gumshoe was a Super Saiyan. Yeah! <laughs> I was gonna say, if Gumshoe was like a Super Saiyan, he would say everything but the, the Kamehameha. <laughs> uh. Uh, no, it's like, um. Like one of the first episodes of, uh. uh Abridged. Like they're doing the, the Piccolo's, uh. Special beam. He's like, have a, have a, yeah. Oh, screw it. Special beam cannon. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Ah, oh, all right. It's unthinkable. Kate could never do that, sir. You could, you could do it, Chris. Okay. However, it's true we have no evidence to deny that claim. Well, calm down. <laughs> It's nothing more than a possibility at the moment. Isn't that right, Miles Edgeworth? Indeed. For better or for worse. Alright. Okay, well, glad we got that out of the way. Um, I guess there's something in her hand on the... On her right hand. It's like a blue chase card. It's my damn credit card! <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a burn mark on her hand. Oh, that was me. Oh, crap! She was on fire! <laughs> Oh my god! Is it connected to the cause of death? No, it appears to be an old scar. She probably got it a long time ago. Hmm, it seems there's something in her hand. Uh, Detective, could you open her hand for me? Yes, sir! Understood! This is a- Oh, I know! This must be a gift card from a department store- Yeah! It seems to be a key card, you dunce. Oh, oh! Why? The question is, why was this key? What was this key card for? I mean, uh, why didn't he read it? I mean, doesn't it say yeah. what it's for? Oh crap! I examined something. That was the same thing. Just okay. Um, her bloody hand on the other side. Okay. Uh, there we go. The left side of her jacket has been stained in deep red. This jacket. The buttons are on the right side. <gasps> Wait a minute. That's a oh, man's yeah. suit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? What? I don't know why that was funny to me. Um, um. Yeah, wait, wait. Yeah, that's normal. Yeah, well. Oh, 
I wasn't right. That's normal, that's normal for, for men's clothes. Women, I think the buttons are on the left. Really? Yeah. I didn't know there was a damn difference. I think. Huh. Maybe we'll say. I don't know. I gotta check one of my shirts. We'll anyway, see. Sorry. And you're good. Isn't that normal, sir? All my clothes have the buttons on the right side. For women, it is normal for them to be on the left side. Oh, yeah, it is on the left side. Oh. Huh. That feels weird. I feel like... that. Oh, like, I guess muscle memory? Like, anytime I put on, like, a suit or a button-up, it's like... I have to have the buttons on the right. That's weird. Yeah, I, no, like, I'm looking at one of my shirts. In my closet. Yeah, they have buttons on the left. That's weird. <laughs> Well, that, that shows and proves that we're both man and woman. <laughs> <laughs> In case you guys still have, you know, some, you know, uh, suspicion. <laughs> Just oh, God. Go buy our clothes. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, you really do know everything. Uh, that, that's just common knowledge. Hmm. There doesn't seem to be anything out of place. Hmm? There's something white in her pocket. They're gloves. Pure white gloves. Ones. One for each hand, sir. They don't seem to be dirty. Could they have been the victims? Okay, and I guess her head? Oh, damn, yeah, I see that. There's some blood on her head. Maybe she was hit with something. We don't know that for sure. Our investigation will ultimately clear that up. Uh, da -da -da -da. I guess that's... Everything? I'm gonna back out and examine again. Uh, examine? I mean, we have logic. Oh, yeah, we can do that. Oh, yeah, key card and security, duh. Oh. We're idiots. Stimpy, you idiot! Perhaps the key card. Uh, you may want to take over for Edward because I think Francis is gonna come back. Sure. Perhaps the key card the victim was holding is for this room. I'll go find out, sir. Mr. Edgeworth! I'm in this room security system. <laughs> we were able to retrieve the data of the victim's card. So that means the victim was able to freely enter this room. If the card actually belonged to the victim, of course. Yes, of course. Key card name was in the possession. Did we see what her name? Nope. Yes! So, the victim's identity remains unknown. Um, should you really still be calling me Kay? Of course! What are you saying, pal? Uh, th thank you. But then, what about that woman? She is someone you may have killed. That's all we know. There's no way that's true! Right, Mr. Edgeworth? Uh, I also do not believe you killed her. You are such a naive man, Miles Edgeworth. What? <laughs> oh, yeah, I say this sometimes with uh, Gumshoe. Aww. Uh, here I come to save the day! Nah, I'm gonna take a guess who this may be. Uh-oh. Here I come to save the day! That voice. Yep. Yug on it. So don't be afraid anymore, for the best prosecutor is here today. Oh, gosh. <sighs> <laughs> the music is just amazing. It's so derpy. Pardon the interruption. Mr. Edgeworth, get away from the victim. I've inherited her dying wish. No one asked for you. Did you know the victim? Just as I thought. The goddess of law will surely reveal the truth to us. So please, rest in peace. That's right, Justine. Now that I'm here, everything will be A-OK. -okay. Oh the culprit will rue the day he crossed paths with yeah! me. Oh, thank God. Miles Edgeworth, who is this fool of a man? Why is she glaring at me? <laughs> you are Franziska von Karma, am I correct? I apologize for my late introduction. I am Justine Courtney. 
I thought they both kind of like curtsy. Ah. And the deceased individual is... Attorney Jill Crane, one of the members of the prosec Prosecutorial Investigation Committee. <laughs> Ew, it is Jill. <gasps> she did write that note, I knew. <gasps> Jill. <laughs> I see. So that's why she had the key card. I take it you're in charge of this case. Again? That's right! And with me in charge, this case is as good as- so. Oh! That reminds me, I haven't caught your name yet. If you just wanted to know my name, you didn't have to- <laughs> Just state your name. I will not tolerate any unnecessary remarks. I hope my parents aren't, like, wondering what the hell's wrong with me. <laughs> I think they think about that every day. I... <laughs> you know, Danny, your words hurt sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> that was good, though. I'm not going to lie. Oh, yeah, that was good. I'm like, oh, was good. this is perfect. That was... I mean, you know, I'm pissed a little bit, but I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm messing. Uh, uh, is Sebastian the best? It seems a pecking order has been decided. <laughs> uh, Mr. Sebastian DeBest, uh, here, this is from Granny. This is, ah, the autopsy report! Wow! Wow, Luigi! It seems you've been best in Mr. Edgeworth! Oh my god. Oh god, why? I'm just picturing the best of the Waluigi mustache. Like, wow! Wah! <laughs> oh god, I need to I'm my that. number one! <laughs> I mean, he oh. is the best, right? It fits oh in. Oh my god. This wasn't a competition to begin with. My job is done. May we meet again in front of another course. Okay, let's go home quickly and eat some noodles. I'll be leaving too. Take care, everyone! I'm guessing she's blind. I mean, with those glasses, how thick those prescriptions are, I don't know. Woo! The victim's head was... Ugh. The victim's head wound was post-mortem. Sebastian. And the candelabra dealt the fatal blow. Estimated time of death is late last night. What? What is it, Justine? While I do appreciate your enthusiasm, perhaps you should give your tongue a rest. You might pull a muscle. That would be painful indeed. Ow. I, ew, Ow. I'm like, trying to imagine. Anyways, it's quite clear now. Cave Faraday must be arrested. No. What? What's the big idea, pal? It's just as he says, detective. The culprit is Miss Kay Faraday. Whoa. I don't know where that came from. The young lady in bandages over there, although she's not wearing her usual attire. Are you not Miss Kay Faraday? And what would you do if she is Kay? If you go in to arrest her, then I will resist by any means necessary. That, I guarantee you. Oh! I am now convinced. The doubts surrounding your su suitability as a prosecutor were indeed warranted. It's fine, Mr. Edgeworth. You can go. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. What are you saying, Kay? You can't just go along with them, pal. But I... I don't remember anything. What if I really did kill that woman and, and then forgot about it? If that's true... Acknowledgement is the goddess's mercy. Atonement is her will. The goddess of law will surely praise you for your prudence. Sebastian and George Courtney. If you believe she is a culprit, on what basis do you make your accusations? Unless I'm completely convinced by your explanation, I will not obey your orders. Fine, have it your way. Now sit tight and listen to the perfect reasoning of the best. Oh, snap. Oh, damn Which it. we are going to do in the next episode. Y yay. <laughs> So, thank you guys so very much for watching, and if no one's told you that they love you today, we do. Have a great day, everybody.
the hell is that? I don't know anymore. <laughs> Goodbye. Questioning me, what the hell? Question you if I want, dang it. What the hell do you think you are? A uh, skinny freaking mini. Okay, then. <laughs>